do that one more time. Okay. Chairman Manchin, Ranking Member Barrasso, distinguished members, Ali from Palau, and thank you for this hearing. Accompanying to me, me today are Compact Negotiator Udui, Senator Suino, Delegate Rolulga, Ambassador Kiora, and my family. The relationship between the U.S. and Palau began with fierce battles that decimated our islands and a final step in retaking the Philippines. Since the war, the U.S. has sought to preserve its strategic control from Hawaii to the Philippines and Indonesia with financial and domestic program assistance. Palauans wanted self-government, but grew to admire and feel a deep kinship with the U.S. The solution was free association. President Reagan, in urging acceptance, said, you will always be family to us. Palau is the westernmost freely associated state. We have a landmass similar in size to Guam and an EEZ the size of Texas. We also provide land needed for U.S. defense. And the military says Palau is part of, quote, the homeland. The U.S. has put its closest to Asia early warning radar in Palau. Yet, we are challenged economically as a small island state. The compact provides Palauans with free access to the U.S., domestic federal programs, and financial assistance, primarily through a trust fund that was to last for 50 years, but which has proven inadequate. Wisely, it also required joint reviews of Palau's needs with a U.S. commitment to act on these. This legislation would do just that. The legislation would not only provide needed financial stability and program assistance for 20 years, but a basis for this continuing after. Palau and the U.S. are joined at the hip, and Palau recognizes Taiwan's right to exist. Continuation of the relationship, however, can't be taken for granted. Palau is being subjected to extreme economic carrots and sticks to shift its alliances. China, our largest source of tourists, cut off visits when we did not follow their request. This, coupled with the pandemic, shrank our economy by more than 30%. Our economy has not fully recovered. China has offered to send more tourists than ever and make huge investments if we shift. For the last 10 years, China has provided the largest amount of economic investment. The U.S. doesn't have a command economy. This legislation is geared toward growing Palau's economy, not only through its economic assistance, but through a joint economic advisory group and in annual economic consultations. There are, though, three additional measures that should be addressed. One is to reestablish an Office of Freely Associated State Affairs in the State Department with coordinators from Interior and Defense departments that have greater equities than state. The Congress insisted on such an office in initially acting on the compacts. State, however, later got rid of it. Some at state wanted to treat the freely associated states like other island nations, but our relationships are much more closer than the U.S. has with any other nation. None let the U.S. exercise aspects of their sovereignty. None have U.S. domestic programs. This compact review succeeded only after we got Presidential Envoy Yoon, who could ensure attention from top decision makers and work out fair solutions. But we need constant policy level attention. We are on the front line of competition, and not just because the early warning radar makes us a first target. Thus, my second request is that you urge the administration to complete the negotiations with the U.S. program agreements while Envoy Yoon is in office. And finally, I request the restoration of FEMA coverage. Typhoon Mawar just devastated Guam, and we know FEMA is critical to recovery. Our relationship was significantly undermined by the failure to implement the 2010 agreement for eight years while Palauans were being wooed by China. Enacting the legislation by the negotiated date, September 30th, is critical. 
Palau's Congress has ratified the agreement. I support it. I respectfully request that you and your colleagues do too. Thank you for your past support and for your consideration. Sula.